Let's learn how to multiply complex numbers. For example, let's multiply these two complex numbers together and write our answer in standard form. Now, when multiplying two complex numbers, we could proceed in a similar manner as we do when we multiply binomials. That is, we can use FOIL. So let's do that. That is, this is equal to negative 2 times 4, which is negative 8, and then negative 2 times 3i, which is negative 6i, and then i times 4, which is 4i, and finally the last term is 3i squared. Now remember that i squared is equal to negative 1. So putting that in here gives us that this is equal to negative 8 minus 6i plus 4i and then minus 3. And now we can combine like terms. The negative 8 and negative 3 are like terms, as well as the negative 6i and 4i. And combining these gives us our answer of negative 11 minus 2i. Now, in general, we have the following formula that when multiplying two complex numbers, a plus bi and c plus di, we get ac minus bd for the real part, and then bc plus adi for the imaginary part. And you should verify this to yourself by foiling this out here. All right, let's look at another example. Let's multiply these two complex numbers here. Now, the only difference between these two complex numbers is that this one has a plus and this one has a minus. These are what are called complex conjugates. And watch what happens when we multiply a complex number by its complex conjugate. We're still going to FOIL here, which gives us 9 minus 3i plus 3i, and then minus i squared. And then we're going to use this fact again up here that i squared is equal to negative 1. That is, this is equal to 9 minus 3i plus 3i, and then minus a negative 1, or plus 1. Now negative 3i and positive 3i will cancel, and we're just left with 10, which is a real number. And that's always the case, that when we multiply a complex number by its conjugate, our answer will always be a real number. In fact, in general, a plus bi times its conjugate, a minus bi, will always equal a squared plus b squared, which is a real number. And this fact comes in very handy when we divide complex numbers. All right, and these are a few examples of multiplying complex numbers. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.